Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the User Bricks channel. Today we are going to be creating uh, growing trees, uh, or just trees in general. Uh, okay, so once you are in game, you will want to create your tree structure file. Now, I am not in game at the moment, as I almost forgot that uh, my how I would need to show you is too laggy for me to record, uh, so I will have to uh, show you through uh, an image that I captured. This is a structure file from a different mod of mine, uh, but it, we will be able to see all of the different things just as well. Now, as you create your tree structure, you can create it to be literally whatever you want. All you need to do is make sure that all of the air blocks are switched out with uh, structure void blocks. Uh, so yeah. Also, if you don't know how to use a structure block, this is uh, this thing right down here this this block right there uh, there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube to show you how to use that and also how to get it uh, if you didn't know that would be the command uh, slash give your username and then uh, minecraft uh, colon uh, structure underscore block. To get the structure void, you will have to go to do the, uh, instead of it being a structure block, it will be a structure void. Okay, so once you know how to use this structure block, uh, what most uh, what most of the tutorials out there about structure blocks won't show you or just forget to tell you is that the starting position of all structure uh, blocks or NBT files uh, is at the corner of the blue, the green, and the red lines, as you can see here. Let me zoom in. Okay, so this point right here, this block right on top of that quartz block, that is the starting point. And that is just a really high uh, amount. That, that's for this tutorial, you need to know that. Uh, yeah, you also need to know the dimensions of your uh, structure. For mine, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 structure. So that is the footprint of your structure. Uh, you don't really need to know the height as it. we won't be messing with the height at all, so you will be just fine. Okay, so now let's get back into uh, mCreator and let's create the sapling and the uh, growing of the actual tree. Okay, so now to create the uh, leaf uh, sorry, not the leaf block, the uh, sapling. You want to go to plants, you want to create a new sapling, and you want to use the uh, static uh, plant type, uh, uh, or you can use the global plant type with the max height being uh, one, uh, just to change where your uh, plant will grow. But if you use the static plant type, uh, I believe that would be the same as like grass, but I'm not entirely sure, so I will be using the global plant type and setting it to planes and max height, as I said, to one. And the plant texture, of course, is the sapling texture. Uh, we can go to the next page and we'll name it sapling. You can change whatever the creative inventory tab, the hardness, the resistance, all of these things. Uh, in mCreator 
9.0. For some reason, there's an odd bug where all plants uh, drop the uh, sugar cane. So you will, uh, once you have created the sapling, you will want to go back in and change the tick. Uh, sorry, the custom drop. You will want to change that to the sapling block itself, just to make sure that that is what drops. Okay. So you can do that on your own. Uh, you want to go to the next page. The frequency on chunks, uh, you will probably want this to be zero as this block, if otherwise, will create a lot of lag. Uh, yeah, so you will want to go down to the procedures or plant events, whatever you, you want to call this section and you will want to go to the update tick. This will be the first uh, procedure that can spawn a, uh, a block, or sorry, spawn the tree. You will want to create a, uh, you, sorry, you want to go to the uh, template library. You want to get the 70% chance yet again I don't know why that was clicked. Okay, so the chance for this tree to spawn, you will probably want this to be really low, something like a 1% chance, as a tick is ev taken 20 times every second. So if you want this to take minutes, this uh, thing in here will have to be super, super small. Okay, now you will want to go to world management. If it will load for me, please. There we are. Okay, you want to place that, get the schematic thing, and you want to find your uh, schematic file. I didn't input mine, uh, so this will just be for uh, show. So you want to change the X and the Y, uh, sorry, not the X and the Y, the X and the Z to have some input as well. You want to add a this kind of procedure block with it. This is just to make sure that your uh, structure file is placed correctly to where the uh, trunk of the tree is right where your sapling was. This is why you need to know the uh, footprint of your uh, structure. So for mine, it was a 5 by 5 uh, imprint. And then f you want to find the, uh, the log block starting from the uh, starting position. I showed you that before. That's where the green line, the red line, and the blue line all meet. Uh, and then you will want to add however many uh, that is that gets you to the exact uh, trunk position you want. So for me, that would be two on both the X and the Y. Now, this may be different for you, so go with that. So once you have that done, you can add, click the Add Procedure. But since I don't have a schematic inputted right now, I will just disconnect that. Uh, for you, you will have the schematic, so this will work. So you can add that procedure, and that's the first way to grow the, uh, the tree. So the next way you want to grow the tree is obviously by bone mealing the, uh, the sapling. So you want to on block right clicked add a procedure there. Let's extend this. You want to place an if statement. Let's see if it has they have a template for this. So check if player if current entity is player for items in the box slot. Nope, they don't. So 
you want to get an if statement. You also want to go to logic operators and get a this item comparator. You will want to go to the item procedures and then you want to get the provided item or sorry not the provided item you want to go to the player procedures and go what it's not in there okay it should be in entity procedures okay so you want to go down and entity in or uh, item in entities main hand you want that to equal uh, Minecraft components item and then you want to double click that you want to go to items and then find bone meal or die number five I believe it is and then if that is true you will want to go to entity procedures I believe or player procedures remove one item you can input the bone meal into that and it's because you want to use a bone meal each and every time uh, it is used you also might want to have some particles so let's find the particles is it in world management Okay, you will want to do the uh, spawn five particles at X, Y, and Z in area one, one, one. With speed, you can choose whatever speed you want, but we want to find the, the green, uh, the green thing. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, so I couldn't find the exact uh, particle, but you will probably you will probably have to uh, just mess around with what one. I'm just choosing the redstone, as that will work just fine. Uh, so yeah, the next thing you want to do is pretty much the same uh, procedure as the other, except you want a higher chance. So let's say a 25% chance to spawn the, uh, the tree itself. So now we want to go back to the world management and get the place at schematic at XYZ. Again, you will want to uh, get the uh, math and the plus and the number. For me, that the number is two, same as before. And it's these procedures here are really rather simple but that's pretty much what you it should look like if you don't want to have to mess with the particles you don't have to have the particles you can just delete them and then hit add procedure and that is actually your sapling done don't forget to uh, change out the tick, the custom drop to the sapling itself after uh, going through the entire the entire thing, but that is the entire tree done. All it took was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, elements. Uh, and t if you ask me, those elements are really simple. So, I do hope you enjoyed or found this useful for your mod, for your own custom trees. Uh, if you did, uh, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to get notified whenever 
the next video comes out. See you next time.